pages and posts are fundamental in WordPress. You use them for every part of your website, so it's very important to get to know them. In this video, I will help you into understanding what the differences are between the pages and posts, how you can create them, and also let's explore the basic blocks you need to know when using GreenShift plugin. So let's get to it. So let's start about discovering what pages are. Pages are your most static parts of your website. For example, your front page, like this one on GreenShift, showcasing everything GreenShift has to offer. Or another example is an overview of your services and products you provide, or in this case, a list of blocks that GreenShift offers. Another example is the pricing overview of the bundles you will provide, or an About Us page where you can see everybody in the team of GreenShift. Tutorials are more time constrained. So they are used most of the time for news articles, blog posts, or announcements. GreenShift uses it to showcase their tutorials, which the latest one is how to register your own CSS framework or enable Coral framework add-on with GreenShift, which is included in the free version of GreenShift. So now that you have an idea of what the differences are between posts and pages, Let's look in the dashboard and see what the differences are there. So let's minimize this one. And here we have on the left side pages open and uh, posts open. Sorry. And on the right side, I will create a new page. So as we can see, there are some different settings already available from the start, right? You can see that the templates are different. So here you can select the templates available, but the uh, the default one is the single post in, and with pages, it's pages. You can also see that you can structure your posts on a different way. For example, using categories to categorize your news articles or blog posts or add tags if you would like to have different kind of options to structure your WordPress website. For pages, you can add a parent page. This allows you to create structures uh, however you need it for your different kind of pages. I hope this gives you an idea what the differences are in the dashboard itself. So those are basically the most important differences between posts and pages. Creating them is more or less the same. So let's get started with changing our front page. As you can see, you can't find it in your pages overview. You have the about us, contact us, privacy policy and sample page, but using the full site editor and GreenShift is using full site editor, you can find it somewhere, er somewhere else. You need to go to appearance and then editor. Then you have the pages section and then there you have the front page. Press edit and there you go. You're now editing the front page of your website. And as you can see, here's the exact same page. If you want to see an overview of what's on this page, you press the list view button over here, which I really like to use most of the times to organize my pages. The GreenShift theme by default uses WordPress core blocks. So you don't need to install the green shift blocks, but I do highly recommend using them because they have a lot of more options of and versatility available to you. I added in a previous video where I showed you how to install the theme and blocks. If you want to watch it, there's a link somewhere up there. When I press the core heading, you will see fewer things are available compared to what's available in the green shift heading block. Although it's nice of GreenShift to adding the WordPress core blocks by default, I want to focus on the GreenShift blocks. So let's remove the whole group. There we go. Bye bye. You can find your patterns and blocks in the blue button in the top left corner here. Here you have an overview of all the blocks available. They use the WordPress core blocks, which I think is very good of the GreenShift theme to use the WordPress core blocks, but I want to focus on the blocks available from GreenShift itself. So there are five blocks you really need to understand and know how to use. One of those blocks are the container blocks. So the container wrapper, CSS grid of containers, flexbox, row, and section are all containers that are available. 
containers have the ability to contain to have all your website content in them for example the next important block the heading the heading determines just like a chapter in a book what this part of the website is about another very important block is the advanced text block if you add it you can write your paragraph what the section is about another very important block is the image block it allows you to add images for visual aid or just making clear what you are trying to accomplish with your website and the last very important block if you ask me is the button block so let's scroll down there we have it this is used to have a call to action to make people do some things if you go to the green shift website we can see all those blocks being used so there is a container containing all the elements you have a header another header a paragraph a button and another button and here on the left side we also have some images available and a background you can same see the same principle we have a block with an image a title and some text and here you also have an image with a title and text so as you can see these are the blocks you need to get to know so i hope this video helped you with getting to know what the differences are between posts and pages where you can find them and how you can use the basic blocks to get all your designs ready i very much encourage you to just try and experiment with the blocks and in the next video i will show you how you can create a design in green shift if you like this video and want to see more please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if there's something i can improve in my video tutorials please let me know in the comments down below i already had some very useful comments that will help me out creating even better content just for you so catch you on the next one